All right, y'all. So big news coming out of Hollywood Reporter is that we finally got to see what the new cast of the Fantastic Four movie is going to end up looking like. And to my surprise, I'm shocked that they actually managed to get all four cast members of the upcoming franchise in the MCU. And you know what? I'm glad that all of this is over with. We ain't got to worry about who's going to be cast as who because it's been nothing but weeks and months of rumors and speculations of who's going to be cast as who but thankfully we ain't got to worry about that no more so the fact that everybody is here in the mcu is something so and honestly i feel like even though i used to like the fantastic four when i was young but i feel like now that they're in the mcu i think they're going to end up getting a better treatment because it's obvious to me that even though the MCU is not perfect for the most part, but there are some able to the source materials to it. But I think when it comes to the Fantastic Four, they're going to end up surprising a lot of people. And I'm glad that we're finally getting our four core members of the team in the MCU. It's an exciting time to be a Marvel Comics fan. So. Fantastic forecast revealed for more of a movie. So Pe uh, Petro, yeah, Petro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, Eben Moss, and Joseph Quinn will star as Marvel's, sorry, will star as Marvel's first family. This is big, y'all. Um, now. I heard that rumors that it was a black actor supposed to be playing the thing, but thankfully that did not happen because we like we're getting tired of the whole race swappy thing because that's pretty played out. Just stick to the source material and Marvel Studios has found its Fantastic Four. Pedro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, Eben Moss, and Joseph Quinn will star as heroes in the Fantastic Four feature. Pascal was previously reported to star as Richard Reed or Reed Richard, Mr. Fantastic, while others have been heavily rumored in recent months. Kirby will star as Sue Storm, the Invisible Woman, while Joseph Quinn will play her brother, the Human Torch. The Human Torch and Moss will star as Ben Grimm, the Thing. Now, like I said, I used to love the Fantastic Four, but when it was on Fox, no, when um, Fox did the movie, I thought it was cool, but looking back at it now, I was dumb as hell for even thinking that the movie from Fox was going to end up doing good, but it ended up becoming a joke, as well as the sequel when the Silver Surfer debuted. But honestly, I'm happy that these people are in the MCU, so it's a plus for me. The cast and gaps use the speculation over who might play the team. The film has a new release date of July 25th, 2025. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. And hell is from WandaVision director Matt Shackman. Wait, so Shack. Wait, so he was the one that did WandaVision? And now he's going to be doing the Fantastic Four. It makes sense. It makes sense. Jeff Kaplan and land on Ian Springer. Pinning draft on the script with Avatar, The Way of Water Scribe, Joseph, yeah, Joseph Ryman, regular on the latest version. Marvel announced the news earlier Wednesday on Valentine's Day, which is today. Now, granted, even though today is Valentine's Day, I, I don't like, like, I, I hate it. I hate it. So, I'm going to make a video on that another time, but I just want to focus on the positive, which is the Fantastic Four news. Marvel announced the news earlier Wednesday on Valentine's Day, Instagram messages to fans. At the same time, Disney revealed the new release date and a tweet title change. It was previously known as Fantastic Four, but it's Fantastic Four regardless. So, pushing back the film from early May to July isn't a surprise considering the cast hadn't been finalized until now, but Marvel isn't giving up on the prime May weekend date which is considered the start of the summer box office season. Facts. Fantastic Four 
intentionally swap dates with the anti-hero centric Thunderbolts which now opens in theaters on May 5th. Now I don't care about Thunderbolts at all. I've never heard of those people. I don't read the comics nor I ever seen them so I only care about the heroes that I know that I grew up with which is the Fantastic Four. Even though I had some problems with the Fox's version but I think them being in the MCU for the first time it's a great time to be a Marvel fan after all. Fantastic Four has been among Marvel's most anticipated films perhaps because its team has never been done justice on the big screen. Roger Corman produced a low, well, a low rent version, well a low budget version in 1984 that was never released. While Fox and director Tim Story released a fire of films in 2005 and 2007 that received a mixed response and shared low yeah those actors but the 2015 reboot I don't know what they were going with but I feel like it was just not Fantastic Four you know what I'm saying I don't know what they was trying to do here but every time when Fox does a movie just know that it's not gonna end up going well just like Sony but I feel like with Disney them producing Avengers movies like Spider-Man movies and Deadpool, the first Deadpool film coming out this July of 2020, well 2024 this year, they're going to be making buttloads of money. So if the Fantastic Four and some debut in the MCU, I wouldn't be surprised if the thing is some looking like how he did in the comics. The Fantastic Four are a cornerstone of the Marvel mythos with writer Stan Lee and artist Jack Kirby Rise of Peace to the Goats, introducing the team in 1961's Fantastic Four number one, the comic that will launch the Marvel Universe. Like I said, it's a good time to be a Marvel fan because I feel like the fact that we're actually getting the Fantastic Four in the MCU is exciting. But I want to touch on something that I'm going to bring up, which is the new logo. Uh, in my, in my humble opinion, I am not the biggest fan of the logo. It, I think it looks kind of childish. But granted, Disney in the MCU has its fair shares of logos that be looking childish and logos that be looking like something serious. But I think this logo will have to take some time to grow on me. But for right now, I'm just not a fan of it the way it looks. But... From my understanding, it looks like they're going with the 1960s retro style look, which I could definitely understand that, but like I said, it'll take some time to grow on me, you know, and yeah, if you want the link to the article, it'll be down below, and uh, I'm going to catch y'all.